Hi there. Thank you for joining us. We're at Wakaiwa Springs State Park. We have a great video lined up. We went on a fantastic kayak trip. We're going to show you the springs early in the morning before the massive crowds get here. And we have a surprise visitor uh, from Mississippi, Fred's cousin Terry Bates. You might remember him from a previous video. So we are very happy to have him here. Stay tuned and please be sure you like and subscribe. Thanks. We're in site 34. It's Friday, July 13th, I believe. This is behind our campsite. And then we do have a little camper on that side of us, but they're a good distance away. It's a pretty nice park. Three turkeys walking through the campsite next to us. Okay, so it's Friday afternoon around two o'clock and it is busy down here. My goodness. It's Friday night and we're gonna try Fuddruckers. So it's Saturday morning now, it's seven o'clock. The park doesn't open until eight, but I guess as campers, we don't have to go through the ranger station. So uh, I have access to get down here. Yesterday, this whole hill was just filled with people. Now it looks beautiful. So there's uh, a lady down here, she's checking for alligators. She said there were two alligators in here yesterday, a six foot and a two and a half foot, and they kind of hang around the walls. Okay, so I'm in. Oh, this is beautiful. Imagine what it was like before any of this development was here. I bet it was really pretty then too. I'm really surprised at how deep it is right here because I cannot touch the bottom. And look, there's no one here. This is a great time to come. I'm glad I got got up out of my bed to do this. It's very cold, but once you get in, you know, as everyone always tells you, it, it's not so bad. And believe me, I do not like cold water, but this was just fine, even at seven o'clock in the morning. And um, what surprised me most about this was, like I said, how deep it is. Um, before I know it, I knew it, I was out in the middle. And then it took quite a bit for me to swim back, especially holding this GoPro in one hand. So I can see why people bring their floats down here because this water, I could not touch the bottom at any point and I guess I could have hung a, hung around the edges but the lady did say that that's where the alligators like to hang out so I stayed away from the edges for right now. Now we still need to rent the kayaks and I believe that we come right out through here. Oh here's all the kayaks. Look at that. There's another little area where you can um, get down to the water. Now, the videos that I did see, uh, the alligators were hanging out in this area. So, you know. I believe that this will take you eventually to the St. John's River. It's a nice little canoe launch. Very easy to get in and out. 
And then there are paddle boards. They're not open yet. Paddle boards, kayaks, canoes. Quite a few of them. So I'd say 40 feet maybe above the spring, um, we have this springside grill. There are lockers. And they have burgers for $4, hamburger combo $9, cheeseburger $4.50, hot dogs chicken fingers, pizza, milkshakes, beers are $4.50, wine is $6. So you can see that um, dogs are not allowed in this area, but actually you can bring a dog up into this point right here. Um, yesterday, I saw a lady sitting right there with her dog on a blanket under the shade tree. So that's a really nice spot that you could bring your dogs and actually still um, be able to watch your family. It's a good bit away, probably a mile between the campground and the spring. Here's another, oh wait a minute. This is the youth camp and we actually did drive up in there yesterday and uh, they have an amazing youth camp facility um big lodge and cabins and there were there were a lot of um young people back there it looked like a lot of teenagers too uh, it's pretty interesting i guess for the orlando area this is the sand lake area i believe that there is a lake down this uh, sidewalk i'm gonna go check it out Yesterday, uh, Fred and I attempted to come down here, but it was just too hot. We had the little dogs with us and their feet were burning, so we turned back. But this morning, it's uh, still quite early, so I'm going to see what I can find back here. A lot of markers, I guess, along the way, um, talking about the different birds and wildlife. You can see a marker probably about every 40 feet. I must be the first one back here this morning because I do seem to be clearing a few cobwebs from the trail. So this is lovely. There is a bear aware sign back here and uh, the only thing I am armed with is my GoPro stick. So I ha obviously have left the paved trail. Um, I'm thinking that there's a lake back here. We'll see. So I am really confused as to what's going on here. Yesterday we saw a guy walking back here with a fishing pole. So where the heck is the lake? There's a, a little trail right there, but there's another paved road back there. So is it this way? feel like I'm getting deeper and deeper into the woods. I just don't know if I'm on a, a five-mile hiking trail or if I'm actually walking to a lake. Okay, well, here's an alligator sign. So, we have found the lake. And I believe this is called Sand Lake. It is very small but very cute little lake i like it completely natural very pretty probably a pretty decent little fishing hole get out and see if i can get a better picture of it oh my there's another one. Oh, there's two Hey, baby. 
I think it looked at me and wagged its little tail. They're not afraid. <gasps> There's a third. Oh my gosh, I've seen five deer right here in this one spot. Look, they're so small, so cute. Now the buck, oh, I still see it. My goodness, there is a buck and four doe. Look at that. Beautiful little thing. And they're all hanging around each other. The buck is not running off. He's waiting for these four little doe. I'm right in the middle of them. I don't think I've ever had an experience quite like this before. There's the buck. I'm gonna go on and let them be in peace. That is so precious. So look, I got back in my car and this little doe is coming back across the street. There he goes. <laughs> She wanted to rejoin those sisters of hers. Okay, so it's Saturday morning at 1020, just a few hours later. And look at it now. I'm here to rent a kayak. So hopefully I can get out of the crowd. Okay, so I made it to the water on the kayak. I rented a single for two hours for $35. The water does look pretty clear. Just one quick note, when I was renting the kayak, I did ask the lady what time they started renting kayaks, and they said 8 o'clock. And she said the last kayak going out was 6.30. You can see right to the bottom. It's very pretty. I stop for a second in this shady spot. Give myself a little break from paddling. So there's a sign here that says uh, Rock Springs. I think I'm gonna go this way. It definitely looks like the path less traveled. Everyone else is going straight. I'm gonna turn off into this Rock Springs canal and see where that takes me. I got on the kayak at this point. I went this way and then I turned north here at Rock Springs Run. And this would have taken me to a couple of other campgrounds and then eventually to um, Rock Springs, which is right here. Now Fred and Terry, on their kayak trip, they went this way. And they went by Wakaiva Island, which I believe you can, um, you know, get out and have drinks and probably a food service. I think they even might have a live band there. 
And then if you continue this direction, northerly, you will get to the St. Johns River. It looks like it's quite a hike to get there, but um, it does eventually lead to St. Johns River. Check out this bottom, it's red, and the current here is pretty darn swift. There's, there's, there's hardly anyone up here. There was one kayak, but they just left. Check out this bottom. And then if you turn back around this way, you see that? If I go right, I go back to Wakaiba Springs. And if I go left, I go to King's Landing. But this canal su supposedly takes me to Rock Springs. So let's continue on. Here comes a... Looks like a big branch floating down the river. I have stopped myself at this log to take a little break and to just enjoy this beauty. But you can see even in the most crowded places, sometimes if you take the right path, you can get away from the crowds and get to this peaceful, quiet, heavenly type spot. And the water is so cool, even though it's really hot out a lot. When I get too hot, I just put my foot in the water and it goes a long way to cool me off. It's beautiful out here. So I'm going to head back. I think I've gone just about as far as I want to go. I'm getting kind of tired and this is pretty, but I've had enough for today. And I probably have, I don't know, maybe an hour to get back, maybe. So I better turn around. I just wanted to cool off after that kayak. No way will I stay down here with all these people. Unbelievable. I'm making a pasta salad for lunch. It's looking pretty good so far. Trying to use this leftover spinach. Thought I'd add that. I did use quite a bit of it, but I think those noodles will soak it up. And this does look delicious. So this is definitely more than one serving. I don't know, you could probably get three servings out of this and be quite full. I think I'll just add some pepper and enjoy my lunch. So Terry's not here yet. We're waiting on him. But Fred and I have been laughing. This is better than a Holiday Inn Express. We have the, the cot with a little mattress on it and sheets and towels. And we have a fan with electricity running in here for him. Well, he should be very comfortable.
You know, we've tried to get Fred's sister to come with us, and she won't. We've tried to get my mom and dad to come with us, and they won't. But um, if you guys are watching this video, see, this is what you would have. <laughs> Maybe that'll convince you to come. Maybe not. But this should be pretty comfortable. One quick note about our campsite is we are in site 34 and it is the middle of July. Okay, so it's hot, but look at how much shade our site has. So I think it's around two, three o'clock in the afternoon and we are almost completely shaded. This is a pretty big site. Um, and you see, we have no neighbors this direction. Uh, we have no neighbors behind us and we do have a camper right beside us but it's not too bad so this is a pretty good site site 34 I do recommend it especially as far as the shade is concerned so it's Sunday morning and we're back and this time Fred and Terry are gonna go down to the spring and take a little swim it's about 7:30. well last night a little raccoon must have gotten into our campsite. This is Lily and Lucy's bag. And you can see that it found their dog food. Oh no. This same little raccoon must have also found the dog biscuits. And moving over here, some little dog beef jerky. Thank goodness our big food basket was put away. I forgot that the dog bag had their little treats in it. So we have two does um, right behind our campsite. Let's see. Oh, there, he, there she is. Look at that. They're right behind our campsite. And the other one is right there. Aren't they pretty? Those are big, healthy does. Oh, there's three, Fred says. Oh, I see three too. Oh my goodness. This place is overrun with deer. They're beautiful. <laughs> 